all right guys this is for youtube so today's analysis what we have in today is uh attacking jedi mastery attacking jedi mastery with the jedi myself today and the other jedi in the chat so follow along of course and definitely put your answers in the chat so it's about to get real here and i'm going over games these are live games that i actually played um easily my favorite stream thanks for sharing soup appreciate it so this is uh these are games that are live games that i actually play and go through and analyze myself afterwards and that's how you get a better that's how you become a better player is actually analyzing your games after you play them and stuff like that so going through some vicious times of uh playing against some monsters over the board not and this is this one's not over the board of course because i'm playing online so I'm, you know you play when you can and you study when you can so i'm playing online these this is a blitz game actually and i'm playing against uh, a fide master here in the french defense so i'm playing with the white pieces guys so let's see what happens here this guy's now at the time this was recently my rating my blitz rate now is like 2505 at the time i was 2482 which was like a few days ago so you fluctuate sometimes when you uh new, learning new stuff and playing players and getting locked in and stuff like that it's a lot to it so i was 2482 my opponent with a few day master with the black pieces his rating was 2575 so very very close to 2600 and uh let's see what happened so i go e4 he goes e6 regular french okay d4 d5 here we go knight c3 and now after knight c3 guys this is called the win hour variation in the french here uh, where you can play bishop to b4 and you play for more of a uh tactics but also positional at the same time there's a little bit of both here so pretty good stuff let's see what happens after knight to c3 uh, he goes knight to c6 here now main main moves are actually bishop b4 if you play this as black i'm telling you right now don't ever play c5 shout out to my students that can do this so many times they don't do it anymore but they used to do this a lot c5 loses right here due to this pawn and just looking at it briefly takes 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 and i'm just up a clean pawn so c5 never works here so usually the french players that are used to playing c5 on this move just can't do it so you do something else you can do bishop to b4 you also have b6 a6 weird moves even knight f6 is a move too as well i was expecting bishop to b4 but he kind of threw me off and played knight to c6 and i was like not that i'm thrown off but this is the weird stuff this is the weird stuff and every time somebody plays this um I'm, I'm always like they're trying to throw you off they're trying to throw me out of book that's immediately what i'm thinking here guimard variation yeah i, I hey chess.com didn't even name it yet it's like french defense normal variation that's what it says so i don't I, I, surprise to me z nation surprise to me because i'm like this is the i call this weird stuff it's just i don't know what this is it's not even like in like even if you buy a book on white for this it's probably not in here so it's pretty weird pretty weird so you play knight c6 i just played the regular development move knight f3 nothing really to it i'm thinking he's going for the bishop b4 stuff and then i play e5 and it's more or less the delayed version of this but with the knight here which is wrong because he's supposed to play c5 so i was ready i was ready so he goes knight g to e7 at this point i'm like what are you doing so you don't want to mess this up. You've never seen it before either. And you're like, this is weird. This is very, very weird here. And honestly, I didn't play my regular stuff or not even my regular stuff, but there's not many ways that you can go wrong, but it's tricky. Maybe he's played this before. He is 2575, very strong. So let's see, let's see what happens. Honestly, everything's equal and it's a, it's a different kind of game. I don't even know what his plans and ideas are here. So what would you do as white here? You've got a, many options. You can go bishop b5, bishop g5, h3, h4, bishop e3, bishop d2, queen e2, e5, or knight g5 all these other moves right you got so many moves to make but what do you do he's getting he's he's going way out off book yeah and you can go out of book but not way off like this it seems like something's wrong bishop to b5 from crap stain bishop d2 castle probably i'm boring it says airy can't you ever can't you ever simplify in these positions to get back into comfortable territory you try to you try to but not too much because then you'll get an uncomfortable territory trying to get in comfortable territory weird but it happens bishop d3 Bishop d2, bishop h6, kappa from z nation. Bishop h6, jumping off the deep end. Bishop e3 from Rizzi's. Here we go. Here we go. It says b5, meaning I'm assuming b4. e4 to ed5, I'm assuming e5, bone cloud, king e2. Okay, okay. You can. You can do anything you want in this world. You can definitely go king e2, big fella. But that just wasn't me. Just wasn't me. So shout out to Rizzi's actually. Bishop e3 is the move I chose here. Bishop e3. I could have made so many other moves, 
But I wanted to, if he's going to, and this is like a good thing to note. I always tell a lot of students this too, is like when you're going to, um, like if somebody's trying to play out of book or like weird stuff, I try to match the energy. And as in like, if you're going to play something weird, I'm going to probably do something you don't expect too. So what do you think white, what do you think black expects me to do here? Probably play like bishop d3 and castle king side and do this kind of thing, right? e5. You know, maybe a3, but I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to do that at all. I'm going to probably, I'm going to play bishop b3. I do have aspirations of castling queenside, but I don't want to tell my hand yet. So let's actually see what happens. So he goes bishop to d7. I was like, bishop d7, bro. What is this move? I didn't know. I did. I have no idea what he's doing. I play a3 because I don't want anything coming to b4. And I might just go bishop to d3. Then he plays something extremely, not weird here, but just like he just captured on e4 did not expect it at all so i capture back he goes knight d5 now you move white to move where are you going where are you going as i catch up with the chat here instincts just tell me to try to castle correct correct what's up canty it's friday yeah every day friday big fella king gold in a building welcome to the stream so he can play knight f5 yeah knight f5 is absolutely move queen says queen d2 what happens if you got tau or Fisher energy though. Oh, you about to really turn up, big fella. It's about to get really real. Heat Miser says C4. That's actually a nice move. C4 is very interesting, a nice attacking move. Queen to D3, interesting. I'm a fan of it. I, I like it a little bit. C4 again, Bishop G5. Okay. I like C4. Thanks for the follow. Super Scott 3000. Thanks for the follow. Knight to D5. Yep. Knight D5 is on the board here. Nobody said it yet. Actually, what I did here is I chose Bishop to D3. This is what I did. And I played Bishop D3. Here's the thinking again. Number one, I'm developing. Number two, I haven't told him if I'm castling king side or queen side yet. He does not know. So the good thing is that I'm trying to play flexible because he's playing his weird stuff. So because he's playing weird, I wanted to try to not give everything away yet and not tell him anything. So I played Bishop to D3. He doesn't know if I'm casting king side or queen side. I didn't say anything yet. So he went Bishop E7. What do you play now, guys? White to move. After bishop to e7, you make a move. Queen d2 from Pi Man. Thanks for the follow. Killer votes. Castle from Crabstain. Dota says castle. You don't mind losing a bishop pair there? Says Heat Miser. Great question. Great question, Heat Miser. I do not mind, and because, not because I don't mind, but it's, I just actually talked to a student today, and I was telling him, you know, it's about what you, it's not what you want to play, it's what you have to play. And here, in Bishop E3, I, I do, thank you so much, Tetchy, Tetchy, uh, Fiend? Tetchy Fiend, thank you so much. 200 bits, good luck on it, baby. Appreciate that so much, really appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, James, what's plans for the weekends? Turn up here, the turn up. You know, here with the Jedi. Thanks for the follow. 42 Titan. So I wasn't afraid of this, though, Heat Miser. I'm not afraid of the Bishop pair being taken because uh, you have to play what you have to play, not what you want to play. And remember, in, um, what is it, uh, Chess Fundamentals, Capablanca says, refrain from moving a piece twice in the opening. Refrain. Now, I don't have to. I, it doesn't mean that I never can. But I should probably not move this Bishop a second or third time just because this Knight's uh, threatening it. So I didn't. I wasn't a fan of that, and I know if if he does take this, I at least have one bishop for an attack if I need it. So I, I didn't go for that. Ninety five, queen d two. Here we go, guys. Here's the move: queen to e two. Boom. I'm not telling him where I'm going to castle yet, cause I want to see where he goes. So I play queen e two. He castled, and then I pulled out the lightsaber. I didn't turn it on yet. I did not turn it on, but I definitely pulled it out just to. Just to make sure everything was okay around me. I felt, I just felt something. I felt something. So white to move. What do you do? Queen e2, queen side. Knights are better than bishops. In certain end games, correct. Certain end games. Knight g5, okay. Bam, he says. King side castle, no doubt, says Andrew Aussie. King side castle, big fella. H4. King Goldman's like, H4, bro. King side results in a draw. It could be. It could be. Pretty simple here. Long castle, g4, g5, queen side. Correct. I just got out the way. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get my king out of the way. And whoever gets to this king first is going to win. He has to start doing this stuff. But he's a little little far behind, especially as close as I am right now and what I'm about to do in the next few moves here. 
Matt Smith says castle queenside. Yep, and h4. h4 is absolutely a move, right? He goes rookie one. Well, shout out to h4. Here we go. Boom. h4. h4, big fella. Here it is. First GM stream. I, 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 did I understand? Touchy thing. We in here. h4. So here we go. h4. This is attacking Jedi mastery right here. Shout out to my students in the chat. Of course, they already know. We takes, It takes multiple pieces. It takes a certain number of pieces to start attacking. So I know that I got one, two, three four five i got like six pieces i can attack with there is something here there is definitely something here so i felt it the jedi is here i just you know put my robe on as it was already on took off took out my lightsaber turned it on and i start just swinging i didn't even know what i was swinging at or who i just knew someone was there so i was swinging and i found some nice combinations here so let's see what happens? Lightsaber's out, absolutely is on, and we wreak havoc. H4, he takes on E3. What do you take with queen or pawn? Someone tell me. Blessings, Canty. You going to Lansing or Junior tournament tomorrow? What's up, David? What's up? What's going on, man? Nope, won't be there tomorrow. Uh, but I do have my coaches there. So coaches will be there. Be cool. You have everything loaded up, says Quinn. Yeah, this is where I always go wrong. I'm not very patient. Queen, 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 pawn, 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 pawn. So the Jedi way is to swing the lightsaber at random objects, potentially people in front of you. Ah, well, it's different, Z Nation. It's different because you have to sense it. I was just doing my Jedi duties, and then I sensed a, a sensed a being. I sensed something. So didn't know where it was. It was a sneak attack kind of thing. Lightsaber comes out. It's on. We turn up. That's simple. I took with the pawn. Here we go. I took with the pawn. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because taking with the pawn... Makes it very, very nice here with the center being solid. This is support here. I can also push these pawns for later. It looks better. And, I, you know, maybe if I can play h5, I don't have to worry about bishop g5 stuff almost ever. My queen just not placed correctly here. My queen's better here just in case I open up. So watch and see what happens next. Red, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Canty Jedi Academy sounds like it was influenced heavily by the dark side. <laughs> Funny. So here we go. Bishop to d6. Boom. He goes bishop d6. He sends something's wrong here. Now, guys, find the attack. What did the Jedi do? What did I do here? There's a lot of things you can do. A lot of things you can do, honestly. I mean, even even the slow wins probably do something nice like g4. You know, maybe d5. No, that's probably not a move. But g4 probably is. What do you do? Knight f to g5 from the Terrier. My moves always look good, but I always lose. Oh, it happens. Knight g5 says heat miser. Which one? Which one heat miser? Which one? Knight takes d6. We got knight g5. Specify which knight you mean. Knight d for fish head soup. Heat miser says knight e. Knight e. Knight e. I'll wait for a few more answers here. Knight f. Immediate h5. Knight x d6. Greek f. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here's what I did. Knight F to G5. I went Knight F. So here's the reason why. I have done this many times, and this is exactly what happened. He played H6, but the first thing I thought about was a move that I've done many times that's very fun. It's a very fun move to make, and the move is Knight H7. I can just put the Knight right here and just, hey, bro, hey, uh, sorry. I knew you was trying to close the door, but I'm coming in right now. It's kind of like you somebody's closing the door and you just stop them, put your hand in the door and push it open. Like this is how it felt. Knight h7 right here. Oh, wait, hold up. Uh, I'm coming in the door real quick. Knight h7. And then if he takes, I can take this way, hit him with the check. And of course I am. Um, I get some material. I get some material. I'm up in exchange at this point, you know, because I get my piece back and I'm up in exchange. But also if he doesn't take it, this knight is just looking ridiculous right here because g4, g5 is coming. And I have a knight just chilling on h7. Like it, when you have, <laughs> when your opponent has a knight or a piece just chilling on a square like this and you can't take it or you just don't want to take it because of material, something's wrong. Something's absolutely has been gone wrong. We need to fix it now or it may already be too late. So it's pretty stuff here. Pr pretty, pretty tough here, actually. So I didn't go knight h7, though. 
I did not go knight h7. So there's another move here, which I was very impressed here. Every move from this point on, the engine was like, yep, that's the best move. Yep, that's, I was like, let's go, of course. I, the lightsaber got real hot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was ready, I was feeling great. So knight to h7 was not the move. So what do you do instead? What do you do instead? White to move. If you didn't play knight takes f7, I'm unsubbing. <laughs> knight takes f7. Knight takes f7. Knight f7, everybody's saying knight f7s here, knight f7s. So unfortunately, guys, even turning on the engine right here, they don't they don't recommend knight f7. In fact, let's actually take a look at it. Knight f7 is still only winning by plus one because it's not enough yet. It's not enough. He said play it anyway. So knight, knight takes f7 would have worked. It would have worked, but it would have took a lot longer. Queen g5, what's up? D-Punk4, welcome to the stream. Dax Stefano, thank you for the follow. Queen h5 from Caraculousness. Knight takes f7. I see some other queen h5s here. Pie man, queen h5. Um, I think pie man was the first one to get it, but shout out to anyone that said queen h5. That is exactly what I chose here. I'm hitting f7. I gain, I gain a tempo, and now I got this rook can swing to f1. Hence, that's why, you know, taking with the f pawn helps us out because we can bring this one over to, f, to the f file to help us even more, even more in this attack that we're trying to do. Also, pawn takes will always just run into trouble. You just never, ever take this, of course, right? And then here and then here, and he's just locked in. There's no way of getting out of mate, especially when we go, go this route. Of course, king here, check, and then here, and then mate on g7. So that's uh, that's mate. There's no way out of that, right? So you can't take it. So queen h5 is automatically also hitting this. Well, how about g6? That's just not a move. Just start a new one. It's, it's probably best for all of us. Easy. It's over, game over, so you can't do anything. Queen h5, boom, queen h5. So what do you do? Rook f8, you know. You know that after rook f8, you know rook f1 is coming. So he does make a move here. He plays queen to e7. This game going to be over fast. Oh, man, the guy is rated 2575, Fide Master here. And it's about to get vicious, actually, going over, um, following what Fallen Coder says in the chat. Black species are looking constipated. Oh man, it's about to get crazy. Queen e7, what do you do here? I played knight f, G, knight f to g5. I have now brought my queen into the game. Okay, we got rook d to f1. That's correct. Rook f1 still here. That's right. Rook d to f1. Boom. What do you do? I don't even care. And I knew he was going to play this move. There's only one move that I think black can, can try to get away from this. What is it? What is the move that black... There's only one move that black can make that will test this position. It will test this position. And if you play it wrong, you actually go down material. You go down material. So it's black to move. What do you do? F6 from Dodo. We got F5. Heat Miser says F5. Campbellito with F5. <laughs> Pie Man is like, ah, sigh. F6. Man, is this what life really is? That's how you feel sometimes when you're getting crushed. Dang. <sighs> Why do I play this game? F6. F6. It's actually F5. You are correct. F5 is nice. Boom. It, it tests the position. It tests it. So if I do something wrong, he could probably run away. And if he runs away, I'm out. I'm out of this. I'm out of this. So if F6, knight takes F6, um, yes. That looks, that looks sufficient. That looks sufficient. Knight takes F6. Um, no, actually, that's wrong. Queen g6 was better first. And this was my first idea. If you played f6, I was going to go queen g6 anyway. But, uh, because it's nice. This, these are the, these are those kind of puzzle rush moves here. Hey, Canty, what's up? See you, W. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. So, f5. He did go with f5 here. And I've made the engine recommendation, guys. White to move. What do you do here? What do you do? Best move on the board here. It's about to get crazy. There's all kind of mates and stuff in here. Leteria 59 says Queen G6. What was the time control in the game? This is a 3-0. 3-0, so battling it out. Getting game after game after game after game. Three minute game. Here on chess.com actually. Queen G6, that's correct. I went in Queen to G6. There is only one line to stop this. One line to stop this stuff. Rook takes f5 is coming. Correct. Correct. There's all kind of stuff happening. After king f8, he didn't go king f8. He didn't go king f8 because this just looks scary. But you do have rook takes f5. And let me see what the engine likes. Where's the, the kill at? I think I would have went with the knight h7 line. 
knight h7, king g8. Then it says knight ace to g5, no, g4. G4, wow, that's long. That's a lot longer than I thought this was going to take here. I think I can just do this, right? And then go back to G5. Yeah, I can just go back to G5. Oh, and then I win the queen. Yeah, and then after takes knight F7. That's more human-like, I mean, to do that. It's more human-like, but he didn't go king F8. Here's what he did, guys. He took the knight. He captured the knight. Now tell me this. What are you going to take with? Do you take with the knight or do you take with the pawn? If you take it wrong, you lose the game. We have pawn, pawn. We have another pawn on the board. We have another pawn on the board. Pawn because rook opens. Okay, man, unanimous. Unanimous here, guys. Nobody said knight. You are correct. It is pawn takes. And knight takes is wrong if you're thinking it and just don't want to look crazy because everybody in the chat is saying pawn. I understand that. Knight takes g5. We'll show you why it's wrong. Because after knight takes g5, he just gets out of the out of the way. Queen f6, check him. And then what do you have anymore? You have nothing. You have messed this thing up. And now I'm I'm off to the other side of the board, to the uh, other side of civilization over here. And you sacrifice the peace. Remember that. So now it doesn't work. And you should lose with precision after this happens. Ouch. So that sucks. That sucks right there, right? So pawn takes. Now you have to be comfortable with knowing that I'm sacrificing another piece, but that's made on the board right here. So at this point, he was like, man, what do I even do here? And honestly, I thought about this too, because white needs like two moves. Black needs like two moves. Knight of six is coming. There's so much here in this position. It is absolutely ridiculous. Thanks for the follow, Greta Thun Thunberg. Appreciate that. So I take with the pawn. He goes, you ready for this? Are you ready? Always lose your precision. <laughs> Chess is so hard. It is. Here it is. Here it is. He made this move. And then he jumped off the deep end. Found the highest building he could find. And jumped off all the way down with a smile. Here we go. It's hard to make good moves in bad positions. Queen F7. He went Queen F7. And then I stared at the screen real hard. Two quick swifts with the lightsaber, and it was over. It was over. White to move. White to move. It says infinity. I know. That's not a move, says Razor Brand. That's right. That's right. Queen h7, people are saying here. Queen h7. We have a rook h8 on the board. What's up, chess tricks? He says knight to f6. Chess tricks says knight f6 here. H7, we got knight f6, we got another rook h8 from cook to live, rook h8s, and knight f6s. Rook h8s and knight f6s, okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, rook h8 wins the queen, knight f6, chat going crazy, knight f6, here we go, here we go, rook sack, okay, check it out, it's not knight f6, it is not, that is not a move, knight f6, I mean, not that it's not a move, but Still, you get this, and then you look in, and then you look in, and you start thinking about life like, dang, I really messed this up. Man, I suck. <laughs> That's it. Have you ever been there before? Has, has anyone ever been there? Man, I suck. How did I mess this up? That's exactly what you're saying here. Man, I'm garbage. Oh, my goodness. What do I even do? Like, you're not even crushing anymore. <laughs> you just messed it all up. Raise his hand. Ab absolutely. Absolutely. Like, man, oh, my goodness. I had him. Right? That doesn't work. Queen h7. Oh my goodness. You might as well resign. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Not, you know what? You could go g6. So maybe not resign. Okay, this this saves you. Most people will probably check and you out the way and you do lose the advantage. But g6, surprisingly, actually, no, it doesn't save you. I thought he had a queen e7. He could go back here. Maybe. Let's try it. Do we have enough time? Do we have enough time? Uh, looks like I'm out. Looks like I'm gone. Can I defend this? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It looks like I'm gone. No. Oh, this is hanging. What if I just take this? Is there a mate? Yeah, I don't see any mates. And I'm out the woods once again. Once again. Does not work. Start a new one. Oh, my goodness. What did he do? I don't even know. Here we go. The only move is rook h8. H Boom. Hit him with the move. Rook h8. Took the queen. And it was over. It was over. There is no possible way to defend what is coming next.
no possible way to defend what is coming next. The only thing you can do is bishop h2. That just prolongs it. That's the engine move. Engine says mate in two because they do this move. That's what makes it two. So rook h1 and then snap on, on the bishop and gg. GG. So he goes down. Okay, my very high rated Fidia Master opponent, 25, 75 rated, goes down in this game to the lightsaber. Two swift swings of that lightsaber, and it was over. Here in the French defense, if you missed it, here it is again. Here it is. D4. Knight C3 out the Opes. Knight C6, and I'm like, what is Knight C6? You know what? It does happen. So I'm thinking he's going for one of the weird ones. So I'm like, all right, knight f3. Now we off the head. That's what I was saying. Oh, this off the head. <laughs> That's what I say all the time. Oh, this is off the head chest now. Like, no theory here. This is just off the head. Knight f3. He goes 97. I'm like, really? Hmm. Okay, well, weird, weird. I, I'll go bishop e3. And then I went a3 just to put the bishop on d3. He captures in the center. Now, honestly, he surprised me almost every move. I was like, that's surprising. Queen e2, I'm like flexible because if he does want to go this way, then I honestly want to go this way. I'm just trying to see where he castling. He castled this way and then I pulled out the lightsaber, turned it on, and start swinging. Here we go. You better be careful. h4. Knight uh, snapped right here on e3. Thanks for the follow, Andrew Aussie. Appreciate it, bro. Knight, uh, knight here, h6, I'm like, I can leave, but you know what? I have so many pieces ready for this. You know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but at least the engine will tell me that I was close and I'll figure this out for the next time. Queen h5, I'm hitting this ASAP. Rook here, I'm hitting this, you're in trouble. F5, queen g6, mate threats everywhere. Oh my goodness, don't even breathe wrong. Takes, queen f7, jumped off the d-pin, hit him with the lightsaber, swung it twice, and it was over, GG. Thanks for the lesson, says Ace Benedict. Thank you. Thanks for sticking around. Nice win. Just an overwhelming swift attack in the beginning in the middle game. Correct. This was 18 moves here. And the Fide Master goes down in the French defense that he chose to play against the Jedi. And that was the last day he played this against the Jedi. GG. Thanks, everybody. That was uh, this game.